Good morning, YouTube. It is. Oh, I've just eaten my breakfast. It was toast. That's got nothing to do with anything. Right. Um, it is 8.30 in the morning on the 1st of July, 2020. Just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that uh, wrote the comments on uh, diary number 100 because it was really good of you and and I do this for all of you guys and I know a lot of you never write comments you just sit there and watch that's fine it's okay don't mind um, so thanks for coming along and and enjoying the experience and I know from the comments is uh, a lot of you have watched every single episode which is absolutely fantastic so massive thank you to you all, to you all. all right I wanted to get that out of the way and if we ever meet if I can afford it I'm gonna buy you a pint or a nice glass of wine anyway today later today oh my I should have had a shade this morning it's all prickly um, Later today, oh, let's wax it off. I've got some masking tape here, let's wax my skin off. <clears throat> this will save me having a shave, won't it? Mm. Ready? Did work. Yeah, later today there may be um, some jet flying. Okay, Steve's going to be maiden flighting, maiden flighting, maidening. He's Excalibur. The other one with the Union Jack from yesterday. So that might be happening. And also, I'm going to be making a t-shirt for my daughter. Can you see that? Can't go in. Not today. Um, I've been meaning to, to do this for a month or so. Well, a couple of weeks. And I finally got organised. So anyway, let's crack on with the day. I have a couple of cups of tea. I don't know why I'm doing this. I just am. And <laughs> some days you just think, I've lost the plot. Actually, some days you just think, I've still lost the plot from yesterday. Oh yeah, today's t-shirt, by the way. I love the smell of chip fuel in the morning. I'm going to the post office in a minute. Um, the beach badger, your stickers are on the way, or will be on the way. This is, um, obviously, I'm not going to show you, show you the address, but... This is how blonde I am, okay? I thought I'll, I'll put a pen in the uh, vinyl cutter because you can draw stuff. So I've printed, I'm not gonna show you the address obviously, but I've done the address. So the address is the correct way up right now, but the envelope is also down. <laughs> you can laugh about that when you get it. And of course, uh, MKMD Exploration as your package. That's going to the post office in a minute. So, and just obviously for uh, not security reasons, but safety reasons, uh, I've used a sponge to wear that. I've gone mm, licked it. It's a sponge. I mean, at the minute, Lincolnshire is pretty safe. Uh, they've locked down Leicester again, haven't they? Well, again, but Leicester has gone into lockdown for two weeks. Unbelievable. So, scary business. We've got to really stay safe, haven't we? It's, um, you know, all these people going to Bournemouth. What did they say? Was it a quarter of a million or half a million people visited Bournemouth the other, the other week? It ain't over yet, mate. Kids, people, it ain't over yet. Let's, you know... I, well, I'm still sanitising myself. Um, when I go to the shops, I used to wear a mask all the time. These days, it's like, it's probably... Because the shops are only letting a certain amount of people in and they've all got these glass screens up, okay? Um, but when I come home, you know, I'm still sanitising my hands. Um, or if I touch, you know, the keys and stuff, stuff like that. You've got to just keep with it. Bear with it, you know. The madness is gone. The madness of not being able to go out of the house. Apart from to go for necessary items like food and, and beer and wine. <laughs> but, yeah, it ain't over. Anyway, right. Post office, let's go. Just been being cute, bought this. This is uh for me the I'm gonna adapt this to um to fit a formal festo 
for the preheat for the turbine. I had one similar to that, I had a brazen can. I've looked everywhere, and I mean everywhere, can't find it. I suppose we ought to have a bit of fun first. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. Oh. Man, what should we melt? I'm joking. That's quite a good flame though, isn't it? Right, that'll do. Right, let's take it apart and see if we can get some uh, four mil. Seeing this. <laughs> Done a wall. This is one. This is one for melting. Anyway, stop being such a child. Let's grow up a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. So if I poke that in there, Whee! that's that loosened off. Woo! There's your nozzle. And I reckon I stick on there and turn it. Woo! Come on, you're coming out. Come on then. Oh, there we are. Hey. There we go. Uh, I have some 4 mil Festo pipe. Will it go in the hole and will it seal? Oh. oh. Almost. It doesn't seal, but that's... Uh, we can bodge that with something. There you are. That will work. And we're done. I, I simply used some uh, silicon tubing. You know that uh, my aircraft fuel fuel tubing? Of course, got loads of that kicking around. Just uh, splayed it open with a pair of uh, point nose pliers, put over the end of that, and uh, that is a now a perfect seal, and it shouldn't leak from them threads. And the, be the other beauty is, of course, and pull that back, I've still got the nozzle, and I've still got the burner. So, what that means is, of course, I can do some soldering with it as well if I need to. So I'll keep them safe this time. Don't lose them, Paul. Put them safe. Lay your way. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Should we do that again? Let's do that again, shall we? Put it somewhere safe, Paul. And the nozzle. And then seal it up. And put it somewhere where you remember where you put it. Where shall I pull it? <coughs> okay, t-shirt for me daughter. I'll show you uh, where well, you can probably see what it says. Okay, give that 30 seconds. I'm just give it a quick press just to make sure that is not creased or anything like that. Yeah, that should be good. Right, 30 seconds. <coughs> okay, turn that off. Let it cool down. There we go. Come on. Perfect. The reason I've done this, she's uh, she's got two cats. Um, one of them's this tiny little kitten. Well, it was last time I saw it, and it's so so cute. So I've done all this. Um, if I remember correctly, I'll show you a bit of footage of this little kitten. Uh, not today. That's really cool. She'll love that. So yeah, I'll show you this footage, uh, it's on the phone.
Look at this lot. These flowers here are my radishes, which I've left to go to flower. And we've already got seed pods lot. So I'm gonna let them swell, hopefully they'll get a bit bigger. But a few minutes ago, I had this tiny little honeybee on here. It must have been that big. It looks like, I don't know, just a, like a third small in size than a normal honeybee. So it must have been some sort of wild honeybee. But look at look at my garden now. Look. Let me just come back here. So the cauliflowers are huge. I'll show you the peas in a second. The potatoes and radishes. Let me run a beans. Let me show you these peas up. Some of them are literally ready for picking, I think. Uh, oh, I'm standing on. I, I've got my safety. I haven't got my safety shoes on today. Look, odd socks as usual. Red and purple. Red needs repair. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this cause yet. It's huge. I only planted it for a laugh, thinking it won't grow, because none of the seeds did. Well, carry on. My French beans, oh yes, of course, look at this lot. Hang on, where are we? There. I don't know you can see this. I'll try to get a camera in. Uh, right on the tip of my thing on. I've got a leaf in the way. Still got a leaf in the way. Right on the tip of my finger. French bean. We have fruit. Um, and the runner beans, well, they're right up the top almost, look. Right up the top. Sunflowers, massive. Uh, oh, phone's ringing. Okay. Just had a message from Steve. Um, he's on his way to the flying club now um, to fly the jet, the Excalibur. So I'm wearing the correct t-shirt, of course. I love the smell of jet fuel in the morning. Um, so <clears throat> I think the next footage you're probably going to see is one of his jets starting up, starting up and going out. And hopefully it all goes according to plan. He might also be flying his F-16. So it might be two jet flights. Don't know. Let's go. What are you waiting for, mega donkey? Let's go.
Well, that went amazing. I'm back home now, and that is the end of the video. That was just superb. Absolutely superb. So, I'm chuffed a bit to watch and film Steve's uh, Excalibur. Two go-arounds, one landing, wheel brakes on, perfect. So, oh, let me just adjust that. I had the sure speed on 600 or 800 to the second, so you'd be able to pause that and pause the airplane. Anyway, thanks for watching, as always. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thumbs up and all that bit. Look forward to your comments. I've actually caught up with the comments, I think. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to leave you with this. Stay safe. Do your two metre thing. It ain't over yet, as we've seen. Um, I reckon we're in for a second wave. I really do. And I think there will be parts of the country and other parts of other countries which will be going to lockdown number two, and we really want to try and avoid that. If it happens, it happens. I'll just have to do more gardening. Oh, and actually finish off the roof on the shed. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, see you soon. Uh, well, see you tomorrow. I keep saying that. I'm out of living, you can tell. There's no script. I'm going to make my tea, edit this video, get it online, and you guys can watch it. Bye for now.